They are going to be reaching their destination just a moment. Scouts have raised a large convoy. This is a convoy carrying workers that got lost in a blizzard. They are weak and have no provisions. We should listen to their story and escort them to our city. Hmm. So we found some survivors here. Actual survivors. Hello. They sought winter home. Ah, they were seeking for the winter home too. The workers who were riding in this convoy told us they were heading for the city of winter home. We were supposed to follow the signal from the beacon, but we couldn't pick it up, they say. We tried to follow a search pattern to find it, but we ran out of fuel. And then we have a choice of escorting the survivors to the city, so just send them on their way or leave the survivors to their fate. But no, we are of course going to escort the survivors to the city, as anyways thinking of actually going back home with this group and get the resources that they have with them to us. So this is definitely working for me. I can also at the same time then escort them. Yes, I know I can't give them orders and that is totally fine. They are also bringing us nice amount of food and then that one part and then loads of food too. So lots of nice things that they are bringing with them for sure. There is of course plenty sick like supporting gravely injured. Is it just frostbites or something worse is kind of the question. Uh, coin to treatment palliative care. As in I guess because they are coming into here and all. Patience. Palliative care. I'm kind of like wondering how it exactly means. Are they just overall those that are gravely injured? What are these grave injuries? Another day, another shift? Well, that's life, yes. We can keep going like this for a while, I'd say. Hope so. But yeah, there's quite a lot of sick, which I don't exactly love. I could say. This is of course also traveling to us. Ooh, hot house resource is good though, to be able to get food a little bit more, because we are actually really low on food. So this is very much needed, I'd say. Very badly needed. Of course our explorers are coming as well with some food, which is definitely also required, but still. So what is the most important thing? I think steel work would be good. Uh, I probably should first of all go ahead and see that I can actually go and build a hot house, but I can't yet. It even requires a steam core. So that's not exactly perfect, but I think it will be worth it when we just are able to build it, which we just is aren't yet. If we can research something with less than 10 food, I think we should. But there's not a lot of things that we probably can do with less than that. We can actually start working on the steelwork, so I think we shall. We need it anyways at some point, so we'll start working on it. We'll wait for them to arrive. They even have a core for us with them. We are low on food, which is definitely not good. As us, I'd say, though. Let's just get everyone there, or as many there as we need, or can have, to cook a little bit too, though. Okay, 19 player gravely injured, so I think it's gotten better, though. Like, maybe they have been able to get enough warmth and from frostbites, and they are feeling better. I hope so. I hope so. Not sure if that's the case, though. <sighs> Not sure that's the case. 42 sick, 19 gravely is a lot, though. That I would have to say, it is quite a lot. Quite of a lot. Then being treated, then in palliative care. Okay, at least from here I can easily see everyone, but they don't exactly say if they are able to be cured 
in any way quickly. So I guess that's the problem. They probably aren't. They are probably those gravely injured. So I would need the better place for them to... Okay, Steelworks at least has been researched as well, which is good though. So we need to be looking on also having that at some point. It's not a problem yet, but it will be at some point. And yes, no raw wood, but at least everything has been made into rations. So that's at least good. Can we do a bunkhouse? A hothouse, I mean. Hothouse is actually way bigger. <laughs> so we will have to de necessarily build it a little bit further into here. But I guess this is an okay spot to build it at. And for sure it should be at least relatively close by. There's the two medical centers here. There's this a little area where we can look into doing something. Okay, a word of advice, Steam Cores. We have just used our first Steam Core. Steam Cores are a necessary component in advanced technology. We can't manufacture Steam Cores in the city, so let's hope that our scouts find them during the expeditions. Yep, for sure. But I do think that one hot house will be really important to have for more than a few reasons because, <laughs> well, for food, I think it's very, very important. It is unfortunate that it's in the silly zone. If I could be doing this again, I don't know though. And so it's easy to say that I would do things differently, but in which way differently? Okay, I would build this all into a little bit further away because they are very well insulated so they would be well fine a little bit further away from the center so with the beacon well as such the beacon is already gold but i guess that's not really an issue with this if it's gold or not but yeah there's plenty of stuff that Would need to be looked at. I wonder, I guess this shows like that because there's so much coal right now, I guess. I could assume so, that we just have so much coal that we are pretty much full. What's this? Okay, yeah, storage limit reach. So, that's why. Uh, street is not connected to the generator. How is it still not connected to the generator exactly? I do not really get it, I guess because it still hasn't been built, that little part there, even though I thought that it should be getting built quite clearly. Let's just then take a few engineers away from here, mayhap. So we might be able to actually build that soon. Let's see, is there some good research then we would want now? Yeah, this we would like to get better. Medical post to tools and metals people employed in medical post will heal the sick 10% faster. Hmm. Maybe. <sighs> what does this cost? Yeah, it costs a little bit too much for now to get at least that. We could do the resource depot upgrade or sawmill upgrade. Introduce workplace improvements that will raise the efficiency of all sawmills and see steam sawmills by 10, 25%. I guess we could do that. At least it will increase our um, thing getting all of the stuff done a little bit more so. Okay, so where do we want to be having everyone? They are getting loads of uh, coal. This is of course producing loads of coal. We'll produce coal pile. So that's fine. This is the only place producing steel for the moment. And this is of course then just cutting trees. Eight per hour. Hmm. It's not that much, but I guess it's decent enough of amount. It's just that where do I take the people to this place? Of course, at the moment this doesn't actually work. So I can guess I can take them away from there, considering they don't even managed to work, so this will slowly grow these things even if it is a little bit chilly mm -hmm. but definitely food is still an issue I'd say so let's have them there uh, one of our people died that is not a good thing one on day 9 from our arrival one of our people died 
One, one died from the lack of treatment, Horton and Sputin child. Aw, that's sad. First death, a word of advice. One of our people has just died. Sickness, accidents, and deadly gold will keep claiming lives in this hard world. We need, need a way to dispose of the body. Yes. Let's try to look for the cemetery, I'd say. I like the idea of getting a cemetery. Of course, it takes a place. But... Still, just a question, how far away do we want to be able to build the cemetery? It could be somewhere close by into here, it's a pretty small structure in all honesty. So in that sense... Mm, something like that I guess, yeah sure I'll build it here. I'll. Uh, I'll get it here, sure. Build it there, the cemetery. Should be built as soon as possible though. Or earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust, as it should be. At least after that we'll be allowed to rest properly. Yes. I'll do my best on that, for sure. This will still be a great thing. Hmm. Home, click to select location. Yeah, okay. I happen to click on a person that they have to be all the time alone in this world. Sadness. Someone is completely alone. 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 Home. No home. Tent. Medical post is a workplace, at least it's very farm, so the workplace is at least good. At least we're getting this built very soon. So cemetery has been established. Now we can put our dead to rest. Hope prices. So here lies no one yet. Proper burials take time, but can half the loss of hope caused by a death after the ceremony or funerals law is signed. This is a cold place though, but I think it should be fine if the cemetery is pretty cold, I think. I hope that's fine by people. At least they are arriving soon. So what's going on? Urgent need for treatment. Healthcare protest. Captain, our people have gathered to protest. The number of the untreated sick keeps rising. But you seem to ignore the problem. They demand that you take action. Uh, okay. You'll have three days to admit one third of the sick to treatment. You have two days and to build it. Okay, you'll have three days to admit one third of the sick to treatment. Let's try to hope to do this. I do think, of course, that we need to do something about all the sick people. But I guess those who are in the palliative care in tea just will stay here. And thus these places are not able to do anything else at the moment. Which is bad. Certainly, because there's... Yes, there's the gravely injured, but then there's all the 41 sick that cannot be treated because of this. Ever. So... I kind of would like, okay, what do we do with the <laughs> uh, ones that can't be treated? 24 would need treatment, that is... Not going to be easy, exactly. Can I... Like, sure, this makes them cure quicker, but they can't exactly do what we need them to do. If we get the drafting boards and try to get the infirmary, that would be able to actually cure some of the really gravely sick. So I think I would like to try to do that. It's just a different thing if I can do it quickly enough. The efficiency of all the sawmills is improved, though. I would need more wood to be able to... Start the research on the second tire of things though. At least we have an okay amount of steel for now. And we need to do the steel works at some point as well, of course. The temperature will drop one level also is bad. At least they're gonna be arriving in a moment. One of our people died. One died from the lack of demon part peeler a worker. Well, great. Just great. Just great. So yes, this is the problem when you treat the 
really crave Lizzie in this manner of keeping them alive. Which of course isn't really that big of a surprise that that's what's gonna be happening, but... But okay, they arrived back here, which is good, so we can add a research. Let's get the drafting boards number two done, ASAP. That will also arrive decently soon. Let's go to the gloomy grave when it's pretty close by. And um, yeah, afterwards there was also, of course, the weather station all the way down there. We've explored pretty much though at this point. And we have a good amount of resources for the moment, we just also then need the steelworks. Extra iron one uh, ore from the deep deposits and process to deliver. So yes, this seems to be exactly something that we need to be building all the way over here. Which isn't exactly great, but it's the only way to actually get steel. So, yeah. I guess that's the thing that we would need to be doing anyways. I mean, like it or not, I think we require it. Didn't mean to go there. <laughs> Just sometimes trying to find this exact road. That I wanted to try to go and build. I tried to think, uh, which way would there be a good amount of space to build here? I think this is the best that I can do. So yeah, that is going to be also a good thing to build nonetheless. Even if it's not perfect, but it's at least something. But yeah, tomorrow we should be able to research at least this relatively well. And uh, it's just a good question if I can try to actually go and even build actually infirmary. Or if not, then I guess what I would need to do is change the law to treat the gravely injured in a different manner. Because otherwise, we're gonna be losing more people all the time because we don't have places to treat them. Which would be very saddening. So yeah, okay, 26 unemployed so to speak. And uh, 22 little children. Only 22 anymore because I even lost one. One of our people died again. Yay. Uh, one died from the lack of treatment. Christopher Alterton worker. Well, Horton's beaten and Bart Beal already. Lie here. And also another one. Harold Fleming, a child. A lot of children dying even, even though I have a <laughs> nice shelter for them and everything, but loads of them die. Laura Welder, Harry Barham, Christopher Casper, all engineers and workers. <sighs> Damn it. Hmm. Well. So many die all of a sudden, and not a child too. <sighs> that sucks. I'll try to work on that tomorrow. Well, I can certainly remember those mornings better once to let's make it through a day. Maybe tomorrow I'll be better. Yeah, I wish I had done this differently or maybe at least in the start I would need to just say that yeah, you guys amputate because that's necessary. Two of our people died. And now it's even colder. It's getting colder with each day. Well, not exactly, but now it's definitely getting a lot colder. Yes, I hope I don't freeze to death on duty. I don't know if we should be having people to work here, but I think I kind of need some to work there, nonetheless. We need workers. At least this thing will be arriving soon. Temperature falls. I know the stat thing for sure. Well, there it is coming for sure. Whatever we exactly wish to be doing with it. I don't know what it will be good for, for sure. So, find another settlement, provide the treatment and uh, automatons. The automatons can replace entire crews at most workplaces. They are produced in the factory and work 24 hours per day. Ooh. Their initial efficiency is 60%, but it can be raised by resource upgrades. An automaton resources itself twice daily from the generator or a steam hub without interfering with its operation. 
cost of one automaton would be that much, but now we just simply have it. That is sweet. So, one of these silly locations, which is actually, this is even gold, and this is also gold, I'm pretty sure. I think this will be the place where we put the automaton to work. It will gather us food, and uh, that will be good. We'll be able to have that for us. Good, at least, what happened. Okay, a word of advice about using automatons. Our first automaton is operational. This will help our economy greatly. Automatons can replace in-time manual labor crews. They work around the clock with short breaks to refuel at the generator. We can resist upgrades to raise their efficiency and capabilities. I see. Ooh, that is sweet, of course, for sure. Is the temperature too low even here? Yeah. Yeah, that's bad as well for our food situation for a certainty. I'm still not quite sure why this hasn't been built. Like, I asked to build this street and somehow they, so to speak, still aren't built. And I do not quite understand. Like, it shows it would be built, so what's going on exactly is my question, to be honest. This is... Try to build all these roads, I guess. Because this is getting a little bit ridiculous to me that it's still not working. Even though it shows that there's the treats, but... Okay, now it says that it's working. That thing is bloody massive. Are automators dangerous? No, it should be pretty safe. I think. And two more of our people died. So, remaining 41 now. For providing all the treatment. <sighs> Ooh, that's sweet though. Having this thing walk here. Technical statistics. Yes. Base efficiency 60% going to work. <laughs> it's very sweet to have something like an automaton here though. I just I think I would have needed to do things very differently. I'm just going to see if I can try to get this first done. And then the um, better treatment facility. Or maybe I just need to accept that I need to start working on just changing the law for now. And, uh, oh, okay. When it's signed as sustained life, then we cannot even change it. No matter what we would do, we cannot change it anymore. Okay, well then, the only things that we could do is to build momentarily more, for example places that we can cure people at and then just wait until we can build the infirmary sure then i guess actually i would like to also destroy that road if possible that road is in a very bad place dismantle a street this street i would like to dismantle because we might like to have it a little bit differently these also aren't actually wouldn't have needed to build those that way then that far but uh, of course it's a little bit, bit late to be changing that now. But let's tr play a build this at least for a moment. Hopefully we can actually treat some of the sick in there and uh, go from there, I think. And yes, speed up a little bit. Have uh, five new people here to work and hopefully they can actually cure some people. Drafting machine research. This is very good, of course. And then, let's see, what did I need? Sure, I would love to have a hothouse insulation so that we could actually have it be only chilly at the max. But for now, what was it that I wanted? Infirmary would be here, but I guess it requires this for this to be possible to be researched, yes. Well, of course, kind of logically. Intro tools and methods people employed at the medical post. I guess I'll try to get this then quickly. First, I have uh, enough food for now. Not excellent amount of food, but it's enough for now. At least these three research centers should be able to research things relatively quickly. And they at least do for this. So, yeah, this is all the engineers working there, and these would be at least getting here. Palliative care. 
Don't know how this will work. Okay, we have raised the gloomy cave and the medical post upgrade has also been done. So let's see about this then. How much does this cost? That is not exactly excellent. Allows us to build infirmaries, yes, but the steam heated infirmary with 10 beds. The sick are treated faster than in medical post and the grave lil can be treated safely and reliably. But it requires a steam core. I hope the infirmary itself will not require a steam core because then I wouldn't be able to even remotely hope to build it at the moment. But I think it's worth it to start researching, but we'll see. Okay, then this cave is or was inhabited and there are a number of footprints leading to its entrance. We should check if there's still someone alive up there. Let's do that. So Kumi Cave, visit by beasts. We can hear terrified shrieks coming from the cave of Peel. When we come closer, several polar bears turn towards us, blocking the entrance. There are people trapped inside and those beasts are bigging them off one by one and feasting on them. That sounds very bad. Leave the bears alone. The bears will kill the survivors. Risk attacking the bears? People in the cave will live. Scouts will escort them to our city if they survive. Well, we must risk it. I think it. I think so. <laughs> risk it for the biscuit. We have to help the survivors. When our scouts attack the bears, the people in the cave, four children, 18 uh, engineers or workers and 12, mm, joined them and together they drove the beast away. Then they all set out towards our city. Okay, well, we helped them. They survived, nonetheless. So at least that is a good thing. And of course, they are then escorting from there. Ah, okay. The expedition travels faster, following a known route to a surveyed location. That's sweet, then. That, that actually means that they are able to travel quicker. 